Live Jerome Party Studio. Live Jerome Harden Studio. Live from Jerome Harden Studios. This is the last of my discast. I will say about so you sit back, relax, chillax, and I'll see you later. What's up on JR? You sure alright? Let's get started. Live from Jerome Harden Studios. This is the latest on my update that I'm willing to tell you about. So you sit back, relax, chillax, and I'll tell you later. Hello, my name is Jerome J. Harden, founder and graphic designer of Jerome Harden Studios. Okay, so the topic we're going to talk about today is are our schools safe? So, um, what I mean by this topic, I'm going to be talking about uh, how to keep our schools safe um, and how to prevent violence from entering our schools um so the reason i want to talk about this topic is because it's very important to talk about this because um ever since i got out of high school i keep hearing uh shootings happening in schools fights happening uh teachers abusing students students abusing teachers students making threats um and all that stuff so imagine if you and me are in school right now Okay guys, before we get started on the majority of this topic we're going to talk about today um, is that um, before we talk about this, I forgot to um, tell you something while I was recording. So um, what I forgot to tell you is um, the other incident that um, occurred in Huntsville, Alabama besides Discovery Middle School and UAH is um, also Grissom High School where um, Things are starting to go badly around the area um, also because um, because of Grissom High School, which is um, not located on, in, on its former site in South Huntsville on the east side. Um, it's off of the Sands Club area um, off the parkway. So, um, yeah, before we talk about anything else, just to let you know that Grissom High School had a number of threats. Um, of crazy kids making threats to Grissom High School. I was very astonished that um, Grissom would receive that many friends out of any high school high school district in the Huntsville area, or especially in a whole district area besides elementary and middle school. I'm very surprised by that. Um, I'll just look this up and see. Um, let's see, because um, this is getting crazy. This is what I'm talking about right here. Uh, we seriously need to talk about this topic. Um, let's see, Grissom threat. Oh, that's worse. Grissom bomb threat, of course. And it happened last year, May 2021. Whew! Bomb threats against Grissom High. Man, I hate these commercials on YouTube, but we're going to be talking about YouTube ads in the future because they're annoying as hell. Bomb threats against Grissom High, Williams Mill lead to an arrest of Huntsville Man. So, um... Yeah, you can watch this on, it's also on YouTube, so I'll put a link um, in the description, um, but that's not what we're looking for, really, so, um, yeah, okay, let's go back, um, come on, come on. I mean, what did the, what does the school ever do to you? Let me ask, let me ask you, what did Grissom ever do to you, by the way? And here it is. I oh wow, it happened two months ago. Really? Damn. All right, so here it is. So I'm gonna screenshot this. Um, let's see. Save. All right. So what it says here. Man, shut up. Okay. All right. So what it says here. School officials confirmed a threat was circulating on social media regarding Grissom High School Thursday morning. In a statement to News 19, Huntsville C School said they be immediately began investigating the threat. 
consulting with the district's own security officials as well as Huntsville police. So, um, yeah, so this is what I, oh no, not again. Oh, wait, wait, that's Grissom Middle School. Oh, my bad, my bad. It's not in Huntsville, it's not in Huntsville. Okay. Yeah, so, um, not only it happened once, it happened one, two, a few times to Grissom. And I don't know what Grissom did to have this, um, come about. So, this is not good because we need to do better. I'm so happy that I'm out of high school and that way I don't have to deal with all this. Um, especially if you're in a different school, um, anything can come up. People can start school shootings. I mean, anything can happen. And another factor I forgot to tell you, um, on why people are making threats and starting school violence is because of factor to bullying. It could be, uh, a lot of different factors what led to up to those events such as you know people bullying the uh assailant you know pushes the assailant to a point where they can't take it anymore so you gotta think about that when you're bullying folks people especially you kids you know i'm talking to you right now so you better be careful on how you treat people because you don't even know how they're going to react so yeah so that's all i had to say that's what i wanted to tell you guys on uh what could lead to factors of these school violence and you know i forgot to tell y'all in newscast but y'all got it now so let's continue with the program i mean back in when i was in school we didn't have that much of a threat um except that one incident um i remember now that just popped up into my head so um it actually happened while i was in high school so i heard and I saw that um, one student has been shot in the head dead by another student at the Discovery Middle School back in 2010. I was in Huntsville High School at the time. So um, when I first heard about the news, um, I keep thinking to myself, oh, nothing's going to happen to our school. Nothing's going to happen to our school. Nothing's going to happen to our school. And every time I think about it, it happened. So imagine... Um, not uh, a shooting happened at our school and you just wanted to go away. And now it has happened, especially in our hometown. And a week later, another school shooting had happened at UAH. And this time it's involving a professor named, um, what's the, what's the, what's that woman's name? Uh, and I gotta look her UAH up. UAH professor shooting. Uh, yeah, so a week later, three people were killed and three others, others wounded in the shooting of University of Alabama in Huntsville, in Huntsville, Alabama, on February 12, 2010. So, hell yeah, Amy Bishop. Damn, this lady, I mean, this lady's ugly now. What's changed 10 years after deadly UAH shooting? Uh, so this person's name is Amy Bishop, and she was so upset and so mad. She started shooting people because her current contract wouldn't be renewed for whatever reason. So they were supposed to fire her um, once the year is over. So, um, yeah. So we gotta really talk about this, folks. Um, so as I mentioned, are our schools safe? Um. I would say yes and no at the same time. I don't know, maybe, but I don't even have an answer for it because depending on how much security is involved in that school or how much protection that is needed to keep their school safe. And back then, um, we don't even think about we needed the gun in our school. But I watched the news one time and a few people mentioned that uh, teachers will be required to bring guns to school to protect themselves. I thought to myself, oh no, is the world gone mad? Is the world starting to end? First, the plants warming up, food shortages, people fighting over food. Now, children are qu quitting school, teachers are quitting, and yet the school shootings continue. So, um, like ever since I've been out of school, um, there has been more shootings reported, more people dying in the schools, and it's just so heartbreaking that um, it's sad to think about this that the children young as, young as four or five years old are dying in school really i mean 
Imagine if you're a parent of that child that has died and, you know, it will never go away. I mean, I just, it was just, I'm starting to feel sad thinking about these kids, man. I mean, you know, most of y'all that I went to school with, class of 2012, have kids now. And, you know, if they send their children to school, they've got to ask themselves, is my child safe? Do they have security there? I mean, even though the schools are in a great district, nice neighborhood, students still going on at school. So it must be a person targeting that school that doesn't live in the district or something might have happened to them when they were in school. So, um, and right, especially in my area in my, when I was in school, I mean, after that incident, two incidents ended i mean i didn't think about much about it really um it's just like uh for real that um it would just be a normal days after that i mean there were no guns involved in schools no pretty much no security at this point i mean ever since i graduated high school i imagine uh what was like being in those schools now um and after i graduated high school um Really, um, I heard there are no papers to be written on. Um, when I was in school, you have to they give give us worksheets, or we have to bring our own paper to schools. Um, uh, composition notebooks and all this stuff to write stuff down and all this stuff. Now they provide us laptops just to um uh get the stuff down. Sometimes laptops don't work. Sometimes there are technical issues, and there ain't no, no assignments being done. So imagine, um, you got to think about this, folks. You know, as our schools are safe, schools should, should have been taught you uh, how to write, how to construct um, uh, buildings properly and all that stuff. I mean, thank God colleges are able to provide you with all that stuff. So, um, so if you're in school now and you're just giving worksheets, worksheets, worksheets every day and teachers don't even give a damn you know, it's about a paycheck, and you know, and and you know, I applaud some of our teachers of our concern uh, to about uh, the school safety. But do you think the administrators care about that, about the school safety? I mean, even though the teachers have voiced their opinions and concerns about it, I mean, sometimes I heard teachers can get fired for just voicing their concerns about school safety because. They don't, the administrators do not want to hear it. They just don't want to deal with it. And they just want to, you know, forget about it and just worry about their pay. That's it. The higher um, education board supposed to provide safety for students. But so far, nothing has happened so far. So, And uh, the recent school shooting has happened. Um, a kid named Ethan Crumbly has shot up a school and a few people died there as well. And it, happened, it was snowing outside of school as well. It happened up in Michigan. And the parents charged, both parents charged because of the murders. So they were responsible for that child. And the child had access to the gun. And the parents allowed access to the gun. All I said was um, when Ethan was about to do something crazy, all they said was, don't do it. They didn't just physically walk up to him, give him a straight up talk, and try to punch his cow just to tough him up and teach him not to do it. They just basically said, don't do it. Wow, parents, really. We got to do better than this. That's why our, our, our schools are in danger because of people like you. So, um, all right. So, what I am talking about in this newscast is our school safe. And I'm giving a brief explanation of everything. So, what are the factors? So, the factors are increased fights, increased incidents that put other children in danger, teachers have an inappropriate relationship with students, kids bringing weapons that will cause injury or even death, abuse in schools, teachers in safety, bumping up security, parents being involved, and of course, I watch a YouTube or a video segment about dads on duty where dads come to school, motivate their children to get an education. So, 
Imagine your parents watching you throughout the whole day. Wouldn't that be fun, would it? No, I wouldn't. No, I wouldn't. So, so I'm going to start with uh, teachers and safety. Of course, um, it, it, they should explain students about school safety. And, um, of course, teachers have an inappropriate relationship with students is starting to happen around our schools in the US too. So um I read countless and countless and countless articles about teachers having sex with students and it fucks up the students' minds of getting an education and think about sex all the time. So um yeah we're gonna be talking about that sometime. Um I think I'm gonna be talking about it in another topic. I just don't feel like talking about it today. So um and bumping up security. Of course, um, it has been talked about that they're going to uh, put um, metal detectors in there before you enter the classrooms and stuff. So, um, I think it's a good start that um, that you could uh, um, go in there and get checked out and all that stuff. Because school is the top one priority of an education. So, you can go out and be a successful adult instead of being a dumbass kid when you're a dumb adult. So, um... And parents being involved, yeah, I've talked about that. And abuse in schools, that has happened to um, sexual abuse, even though the kid didn't want it. And, uh, you know, being abused by students, getting fights, and just uh, teachers hitting students and all that stuff, yeah. And, um, yeah, so I'm going to be talking about that. I mean, we already talked about it. I'm going to be talking about the inappropriate relationships with the students in another topic. So, um, yeah, so... Hopefully you guys are ready for that topic. So, um, yeah, so what we learned today, um, let's see. Now, let me, I mean, what has prompted the school shootings around the U.S.? Well, the very first school shooting I believe that happened was back in 1999, the Columbia High School. Do you think the kids or the people have learned about Columbine that they want to uh, do their own Columbine version or you know they're just viv so impressed and so motivated by the event that they want to just do their own I mean has it gone into their heads did that did that you know did that event motivated those people to do the school shooting has it I mean if it has why are there any more security so that's very crazy right there. So, um, okay, so what I'm supposed to be looking at? Yeah, but list of school shootings that happened. Um, let's see. Sandy Cook Elementary back in 2012. That was the, one of the worst school shootings ever since the Columbia incident that has ever happened. It involves children four to five years old. I'm talking about that again. I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. Okay. And another. School shooting that happened was back in February fourteenth of two thousand eighteen. Let me let me let me, do, let me type that up. It happened on Valentine's Day, and Stoneman Douglas High School shooting on February fourteenth, two thousand eighteen. Nineteen year old Nicholas Cruz opened fire on students and staff at Marjor Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School in Parkland, Florida, killing 17 people and injuring 17 others. Number of deaths, 17. Location, Parkland, Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School. Wow, that's a long name for a high school. Damn. So, it occurred uh, Eastern Standard Time, 2.27 p.m., Weapons were used, Smith & Weapons, M&P-15 Sport to semi-automatic rifle. So the perpetrator is Nicholas Cruz. It was very pure evil. 17 killed. And it also happened in Florida. Wow, not surprised. Florida, where many things had unfolded. Building collapses, school shootings, alligators. You know, and... People killing children. People raping children. Wow. You really, you folks really give Florida a bad name, huh? Wow. So, this, I keep thinking about, note to self, never move to Florida. 
even though it got beautiful oceans and beautiful trees, beautiful restaurants, beautiful cities, I wouldn't trust Florida at all since they had that building collapse back in 2021. Wow. And plus the rent's too high anyway, so. So, yeah. Um, that's one of the events that I wanted to talk about. But, um, yeah. We just need more security and all that stuff. And I wanted us to be safer and live in a happy nation. But right now it's not. It's gone crazy. People still shooting up schools, you know, all that stuff. No, not much security. Teachers don't care. Um, they worry about the paychecks, the status safety in our schools. Teachers not paid enough, even though they are protecting schools and keeping children safe. So they not even paid for that. Even security are not paid for that kind of crap. So, uh, yeah. So, um, so I'm going to end this topic right here. Um, and tune in for another topic on the next newscast on Jerome Harden Studios. So I hope you learned something from this today. So. Until next time, I'm Jerome Harden, founder and graphic designer of Jerome Harden Studios. I am out. Peace.